should yeah. play this clip in memory uh, for Michael. We should play this clip for his birthday. We mm-hmm. should play this clip. This really is the perfect Dave Rubin clip to drop for Michael's birthday, because not only does Michael like shitting on Dave Rubin, uh, but I could only imagine what Michael's reaction would have been uh, the impression King himself to Dave Rubin trying to do impressions. <laughs> Imagine in the 1930s, right? With 1920s, 1930s, <sighs> 1940s, we get Whatever. all these immigrants, right, from all over Europe. And imagine if the, the presidential candidates had gotten up there, uh, you know, and been like, oh, I see we've got a lot of new Irish citizens. I'm going to give a shillelagh and a potato to all of you. It's like, what? We, we would think that that's either racist or ridiculous or at best the worst pandering nonsense, you know? It's a spicy meatball. Everybody is going to get a meatball for all of my Italian friends, uh, you know? It's wow. like, what are, what are we letting these guys get away with, you know? It's like, yeah, like a guy's going to get up there and he's going to schmuck like me. I'm like just Mason, <laughs> so all the Jews are going to get a good filter fish. Or da, da, da. Guess what? You know, well, maybe... Go ahead, Jimmy. I, ca- I cannot believe that that guy's comedy career didn't do better. Right. right. What if instead of like turning Jews away that were fleeing Nazi Germany, we did do a really offensive Jewish impression? So here's some matzo soup. Come in. I can't do an impression, but and then let them in. Guess what? We'd have forgiven the very offensive performance performance and been just glad that they let them in. So maybe we should focus on that, Dave. Um, those impressions were so like like was he his his Italian by the way is literally like 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 Mario sixty four status like okay it's a me Mario it's like so and you know again that's something he doesn't get like Michael you know the a good impressionist other than being really good at doing the voices themselves uh, hits a specific person like if a person who you are doing an impression of has an accent obviously you have to do that accent. But Dave Rubin was actually doing the racist thing of just generalizing that, oh, an Irish person actually has this accent. An Italian person actually has this accent. A Jewish person must sound like a stereotypical Jew. He wasn't doing a specific person. Like it was like it, that's 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 the problem there. Like if, you know, someone has a, a, an accent where they come from a South American country, you, you do that accent. If you're just saying like, oh, I'm doing a an Argentinian and you start having an accent, then no, that's the, that's racist. Yeah. I mean, it takes a good joke also to be able to pull it off. And uh, I'm not sure what the joke was there. Yeah. The joke was that he was doing a racist accent. Well, or multiple. I mean, I do kind of enjoy, I will admit that like extremely uh, offensive fake Italian accent. Like, oh, that's a spicy meat to ball. I will never get sick of that. But uh, you know what? I'm lying because I just got sick of it when Dave Rubin did it. And look, like Dave, Dave's making hay off of, you know, performative wokeness of the Democratic Party. And that is annoying, right? Like we had, uh, I think Bree Joy Gray pointed out, we had this entire thing about how many candidates could speak Spanish and now like, I think only three Latinos are speaking on the convention floor. That said, like all those things are forgiven if, say, we lead towards more equality and uh, like stop exploiting labor of everybody um, and particularly along racial lines. Right. Like that's obviously the more important thing. But these sorts of like discourse, like things are what it's the same thing as Ben Shapiro or uh, Tucker Carlson talking about pronunciation of Kamala, right? Like this is the terrain they like to be in all the time. I mean, I wish that they were actually offering material shit to various segments of the working class, including immigrants. Uh, And if they were, they could do it. If they were, if they were seriously doing that, then I wouldn't mind the uh, offensive accents if if they delivered them with. They're not even doing what Dave Rubin claims to be that they're doing. Like, where's Micah filter fish? I don't see it. Where's where's everybody's spicy meat to ball? <laughs> where's uh where's all the what else did he say? I don't know. He's an idiot. Right. But like yeah. his his complaint is that there are campaigns that are now uh campaigning specifically to minorities, minority interests and things like that. Reagan was doing that in nineteen eighty. Like right. everyone, does that. everyone does that. Try everyone time. does that. Everyone right though. now. Anytime the Republicans let in a new population for like refugee status, that's exactly what they will be doing with that population. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I mean, Donald Trump himself even just he doesn't even try to hide it with like with like vocabulary or he literally just comes out and goes, I'm the best president for blacks. The blacks love me. Like it's yeah. like he doesn't even mm-hmm. like why would you have why does he think he has to say that? Because he get he, you know, as you know, Trumpian as he is and all his weird issues and problems, he gets that that he needs to reach out to those groups mm-hmm. and at least grab a somewhat sizable portion if he wants any chance in hell of re-election. Yeah. So he panders. So he panders. Un- unfortunately, though, when it comes to immigrants, uh, Democrats and Republicans alike, although Republicans are certainly worse, uh, continue to terrorize them, continue to separate families, continue to fund ICE and the police departments. And uh, it's bad, folks. <laughs> So once again, Dave Rubin made his enemies look better than they deserve with his terrible attempt at a takedown. Yeah. Also, abolish ice for real, though. Mm -hmm. Let's let's see if we could bring that back. Remember that, folks? Bring that. Mm -hmm. Not if uh, Biden Harris has anything to say about it. Oh no! If they if they become, I think we should really bring it back because then we'll actually be talking to a Democrat. Um, Yeah. Not. I mean, they're not going to do it. I have zero, of course not, zero no. faith they're ever going to support it. But at least we can point that out and say, hey, look, these Democrats are bad on ice, too. Maybe we need to get some better people in there. Yeah. Also, it hurt Kamala 2024. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are a few people who 